LSU can clinch a spot in the SEC championship game today. They get a win, and then Bama beats Ole Miss, and that would happen. And rounding out into being a terrific player. Here he is, keeping the ball and running ahead for a first down. He's slim this week with injuries and suspensions. And on third and 18, don't worry about it, says Josh Williams for LSU. Pieces to stop anyone through the air. Come with neighbors on the motion, and he keeps his balance. That was a good run for a first down from Malik Neighbors. Playing with a little rhythm offensively. That ball is intercepted right at the line of scrimmage by Brainy. Latavius Brini, the transfer from Georgia, who was a starter on last year's national championship team, comes up with the turnover. Good field position to start this drive as Hornsby gets this complete to Hazelwood, and it's a first down for the Hawks. Hornsby, this is where he's dangerous. Arguably the fastest player on the team, and just glides his way to a Hogs first down. Sanders gets to the edge past Perkins and has a first down. Down. One of the best freshmen in the country. Going to run it with Hornsby on third and 12. And he will be well short of the line to gain. And he puts the Hogs on the board. All in on a cold day. Ball is loose, and the Hogs look to have it. Latavius Brini, who had the interception earlier, may have his second turnover of the day. Jordan Dominic got out and forced that fumble. From the three, Hornsby looking to pass. Hornsby being chased, and he goes down. So a turnover of downs on the two yard line. Stevens once again given, and it's a fake. Bramble's going to run it here. And he's able to get it, but it looked like, yes, a penalty's down at the 20-yard line. You could see that edge block. During the run, holding, kicking team number six. Two-yard penalty from the spot of the foul. Repeat fourth down. And yesterday, be Malik Hornsby at quarterback. There's Hornsby on first down. As Hornsby escapes, and it doesn't take much for Hornsby to hit that accelerator and have 10 yards and a chunk. Hornsby, Perkins, ball is out! Perkins stripped it, and now it's a fight for it. And it's still going down, and LSU recovers. So you think about the speed of Malik Hornsby. And then you realize it's number 40 who's chasing him. Daniels. He's going to tuck and run. Gets past Sanders and Daniels with a big gainer after the spin inside the 20. Third and five. Daniels swarmed and thrown back. That was Eric Gregory who disrupted things and already the fourth sack for Arkansas. This from 38. And with that effort, it's all tied up. Emery, good run by John Emery. Pass midfield. Ball came out at the very end. Are they going to rule him down? I believe they are at the 40-yard line. Yes. Here's fourth down. And Williams bruising and battering, including the umpire even getting some. Kane again. And he does for a first down. Daniels. He is met at the seven-yard line as Chris Paul and Hudson Clark converge on Jaden Daniels. Nine-yard attempt. And with that, he gives the Tigers the lead. Third and one. 
They go with the up back, and that is Sanders, who will have the first down. Here's fourth down and two. Hornsby, there it is, sprint right. And he falls down with the pressure coming in on him all the way back at the 40-yard line. Ali Gay and B.J. Ojolari were coming in like a tidal wave, and Hornsby had to take a seat. Inside here. Daniels fakes the pitch and has the first down. Jump leverage to the outside. Daniels on first down. Has time to wind it up. And it is Butte down inside the two-yard line. Kayshawn Butte. As Williams powers it in for the LSU touchdown. Our first touchdown of the day comes with 525 remaining in the third quarter in all of college football, the true freshman. Third down and two. Green patiently waited for the box and then was able to find room on that right side for an Arkansas first down. The SEC championship. Third down and 17. Fortin. That ball is complete to Landers. Could have been picked off, could have been a disaster, but Landers catches and spins, and it's a first down. In this thing, that would be the message if I'm Sam Pittman. That was the first play they had that went for over 20 yards, and now Fortin doing it with his feet. Of course, it's what happens when you go up against Jalen Carter wrecking everything. Second and 12, look at this in stride! It's Landers again! As Cade Fortin stood in there tough and delivered. Harold Perkins was coming in. Fortin delivered. And Landers with a 40-yard touchdown catch. And Harold Perkins coming off the edge and just delivering a strike. But Fortin hanging in there completely unfazed. Let's take a look. Does he go out of bounds? Doesn't look like it right there. It's an Austin Stadium, though, so advantage Ducks. Jaden Daniels on first down, going to the outside and going up high and getting it is Neighbors. And on second and one, he's able to keep his balance and get out to the 48-yard line. This victory. Josh Williams is short of it. Simeon Blair with the tackle on fourth down. Quarterback for Malik Hornsby. And now Rocket Sanders trying to turn the corner, and he does successfully. Fortin. Oh, he was best as he tried to throw it. And Baskerville comes up with it. Baskerville down to the 20-yard line. And guess who it was? Harold Perkins, that destructive force again. But this should be a good look at it right here. And right there, as you can see, looks like, man, there's the hand moving forward as the ball is coming out. After review, the passer had firm control of the ball with his hand moving forward. Therefore, it is an incomplete pass. He fourth down. Third and four, sprint right. Daniels look familiar. Jeray Jenkins, but look at where he is marked. Yes, let's see where they put this ball down. Remember, the yellow line is unofficial. The timeout. Kane. Still going. Kane nearly gets it on third and 14. What does he have? Here's Fortin, second down. Gets it complete as it goes to Hazelwood. First down, Arkansas. Fortin. He was hit as he was throwing, and it was Perkins again. Harold Perkins has been harassing Arkansas all day long. And are they saying that's a live ball? The ruling on the field is a fumble recovered by the defense. They are saying that's a fumble recovered by LSU. 
Wow. The ruling on the field is that this is not a forward pass, that it's a fumble. Was the ball out of his hand? The ruling on the field is a fumble is confirmed. LSU will have the ball first to 10. Harold Perkins, the true freshman sensation, just closed out this game.